The ore body occurs in a fault zone which cuts Archean greenstone bolt volcanic rocks in the Yellowknife area and was discovered by diamond drilling in 1944. And since then, about seven and a half million tons of ore have been mined at Giant Yellowknife, averaging about seven tenths of an ounce per ton. The ore is hoisted to the surface from about 2,100 feet at the rate of about 1,100 tons a day. That's about seven or 800 ounces of gold. And then goes through the crushing and flotation process, which is common for most metallic ores. It's especially important that it be an efficient process when one's dealing with such low concentrations of metal as seven tenths of an ounce per ton. After the cyanide process, which succeeds the crushing, the ore arrives here in the form of the precipitate from the cyanide process. And here the ore is finally refined and turned into the gold bricks that we would all like to have at home. The first stage is to put the precipitate into small furnaces and when it's molten to draw off the slag or most of the slag. It's impossible to perfectly separate the slag which is formed by the fluxes that are mixed with the precipitate from the cyanide process but most of it can be removed in this fashion. The observer is carefully observing just how much he can take off before he begins to take too much gold. Small samples are taken in order to ensure that the slag is really slag and doesn't contain too much gold. But even so, the slag is itself used again in order to get every last piece of the precious metal out. Once most of the slag has been removed, the remaining highly concentrated in gold liquid is poured into molds. Most of the material which is, is spilling over here in fact is still slag. And what remains in the mold is mostly the, the gold. The bricks must then be cooled and eventually that dark slag on the top will have to be cleaned off. Each of those bricks weighs about 50 pounds and is worth about 80 or $90,000 depending on the price of gold. And about $250 million worth of gold have been produced in the Yellowknife area since gold was first discovered there in the 30s. Sudden cooling and contraction of the metal releases the gold brick from the mold. And then the next stage is to clean off the remnants of slag which still lie on the surface of the brick. And this cleaning then leaves a block of pure gold which is then identified by stamping before it's sent to the mint in Ottawa. It isn't too difficult to understand the local conditions under which the gold at Yellowknife originated. The gold is a vein deposit and originated when hot steamy solutions moved into a system of fractures in the fault zone and then the steamy solution cooled in the way that we discussed for the origin of vein. 